Hello everyone, I'm Tito Miner and this is the second episode of making a jigsaw puzzle game in Unity. In the last video, we made, uh, we made a simple drag and drop system for our puzzle. Now we want to make a system, a snap system to for puzzle pieces. When they drag them into the right position, they should stick there. And at this, the pieces shouldn't be in the right position, they should be another position. Okay, let's start. Uh, let's add an add a script. C sharp script for puzzle pieces. Pieces a script. Mm, enter to open. Uh, let's make a variable. Public. Uh, uh, no public. Yeah. Sorry, uh, private or nothing. Uh, vector tree, vector tree, uh, right position. In the start void, right, right position equals transform that position and let's change the uh, puzzle position we have we want to let me let me change the camera here we want to uh, the, our puzzle pieces be in the right of the screen and player should uh, put them into the right position okay let's make it um, they should be here Add an empty game object here. They should be uh, from here. X equals four point thirty eight to eleven. Let's see. Here. Let's make it and uh, transform dot position equals new vector three for the X. We have to get a random number between uh, between four, yes, between five and eleven. Uh, new vector three, random dot range, random dot range return us a random number between two numbers. Uh, int min is uh, 5 and the max is 11 4 and comma and y eager it should be from uh, 3 yes 3 to yes, 2.5 to minus no here's 6 yes Mm, random dot range uh, float mean is uh, let me check it again here 2.5 uh, minus 2.5 float minus 7 now let Let's add a float mark F to 5 and 11. Control S. Uh, we have to give the, this script to all of the puzzle pieces. Pieces of script here. Let's start the game. So, look, they're not in the right position. And uh, let's add. Uh, first, no, but, uh, let's add a snap system. Uh, in the update void, write if vector tree dot distance vector tree dot distance returns as uh, the distance between two positions. Uh, vector tree dot distance. Uh, uh, 
is the first position from transform dot position comma right position if uh, the distance between transform dot position and right position was less than for example point five float mm, transform dot position equals right position mm -hmm. block let's check here how to find this Yes, look at here. It should be here. Okay, it is. It's go there. Uh, it should stuck there. And stick there. Here, let's add another variable. Uh, bool public bool in right position. It's false because it's not in its right position at the first. Uh, if it happened, if distance was le less than 0.5 or half, uh, set in right position to true. And in the drag and drop script, if we, uh, if Let's add a condition. If hit that transform dot get sorry get component uh, sorry pieces script uh, dot in right position it was. Uh, false at this one at first if it was fight if it in right position was false do this and if it was true you can't move it Look, it's a stick here. We can't move it. And we we add another here. Nice. And it's for here. Nice. Here. So let me check what's happened. Is not in the right position. Right, another condition if uh, drag and drop. No, let's add another boolean public bool selected in the drag and drop script uh, selected piece that get component. Mm, pieces of script that selected equals true and copy this one into uh, get mouse button up uh, set selected to false when we lazy it what's happened here control s it's crashed unity here in the pieces script and this add another condition if selected was false i think it's worth let's check now let's add it Hmm, let me see here. 
<laughs> Where is the pieces? This one. It doesn't. It didn't. Oh, huh, sorry. What is it? For selected equals false. That selected equals false. Ah, sorry. We have to write this line before. Mm. This one is uh, here. Sorry. Mm. So let's check it now. This one. Look. It's stuck here, and we can't select it. This one, no. This one, and this one, no. Look, we made the uh, snap system for the puzzle pieces. And another one is here. Look, we have, we can put the puzzle pieces here and it should be here I think now we have to make uh, let's add first let's add the pattern surprise and here sorry here let's add the puzzle pattern to game here let's put it here mm -hmm. and set here look it's good we can find the positions this is for here now in this video, we made the snap system for the puzzle pieces and added, in pu added the puzzle pattern behind the puzzle pieces. Uh, but uh, our game still have some problems and we will fix them into, in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.